Well, this just in, this, this has just got to stop. If you talk to somebody who said, well, I don't know, I was watching Fox News and they said this horrible. Why are you Lord, uh, Mr. President, Fox News isn't what's making Americans sick about your health care law. Your health care law is. Welcome, everybody. I'm Neil Cavuto. And excuse this departure from form, but I, I think this is just poor form. So it's time we set some things straight. Mr. President, we at Fox News are, are not the problem. I, I hate to break it to you, sir. You are. Your words are. Your very promises are. We didn't sell this health care law. Sir, you did. Remember this? If you like your doctor, you will be able to keep your doctor, period. Not so. Mr. President, tell that to tens of thousands of retirees at IBM and Time Warner and dozens of others who've been dumped from their coverage and told to find their own coverage. Now, Fox News didn't break that news to them, Mr. President. Their companies did. Fox News didn't push more of those firms to hire part-time workers. Your health care law did. Fox News didn't incentivize fast food restaurants to scale back their benefits. Your health care law did. Fox News didn't make doctors want to opt out. Your health care law did. Fox News didn't make insurance premiums skyrocket. Your health care law did that. Just like Fox News didn't grant hundreds of exemptions to companies that needed them, you did. And Fox News didn't delay one key provision after another, including just today, online enrollment for those small business exchanges. You did that, sir. Just like it wasn't Fox News that said we had to pass this to see what was in this, you did. Or was that Nancy Pelosi? Yeah, sometimes I'm confused. But of this I am not. Fox News didn't redo basic math, sir. You did. Fox News didn't say you can cover 30 million more Americans and not see a hit in premiums. You did. Fox News didn't say you could throw in those with pre-existing conditions and not have to pay for it. You did. Fox News didn't all but say you could get something for nothing. You did. Fox News didn't come back years later and say, oh, yeah, we, we, we did raise some taxes. You did. Just the other night. Here's where you are right about Fox News, however, Mr. President. We were on this very early. We can do math and did. You cannot and did not. Now, we said it and proved it. You didn't, and we're suffering for it. Take it from the numbers guy here at Fox. Numbers don't lie. The number of Americans working part-time and nervous. The number of retirees days away from being dumped on exchanges and anxious. The number of company bosses with any news to pass along on those exchanges, still clueless. The number of doctors who want out. The number of congressmen now opting out. No, Mr. President, none of those numbers lie. But with all due respect, sir, I can only conclude you do. I know, I know, I know. You, you hate us at Fox. But please, please, take a look in a mirror and fast. You think we're the skunk at your picnic. But that does not mean we are the ones that stink. Because that smell isn't coming from the folks reporting on your law, Mr. President. That smell is your law. 